Here are the ingredients for the cornbread. We have one and a half cups of cornmeal, two teaspoons of Creole Cajun seasoning, a quarter of a cup of oil, of course salt and pepper, three eggs, and dewy sausage. It's about a pound. And the star of the show, Philadelphia cooking cream, original flavor. Also going into it is what we call the Trinity. It's going to be sauteed onions, celery, and once those get going, I'm going to add in some roasted red bell pepper. And we're going to add that into the Raging Cajun cornbread too. I'm so excited. Let's get started. Excellent. We've got our sausage all cut up. And now I'm just going to mix in all the ingredients. Like I said, I have a cup and a half of cornmeal. And to that, I'm going to add in about a quarter of a cup of oil, our Cajun seasoning, and Creole mix. Yum. Of course, we need to add a little salt and pepper. But easy on the salt because the Cajun seasoning already has salt in it. I have three eggs and Kraft Philadelphia cooking cream, original flavor. All 10 ounces goes in. You need all 10 ounces. So to my cornbread mixture, I'm adding in a roasted red bell pepper and I'm going to add in the andouille sausage. Like I said, it's already cooked. But the flavor that it's going to release when the cornbread cooks is going to be delicious. So this is the Raging Cajun cornbread. So I know what some of you are thinking. Probably a couple things. One, cornbread as an entree. Trust me, a couple slices of this cornbread and a stick of this, I'd be a happy camper. But I'm not done yet. And I know you're probably thinking, she used the cooking cream and not cream cheese. Again, I'm not done yet. So I have the sautéed celery and onions, and I'm going to go ahead and add that into the cornmeal mix. It smells so good. I love the smell of onions and celery cooking. It reminds me of Thanksgiving morning. Okay, I'm going to mix this up. I have a dish here that I've sprayed lightly with cooking oil. And I'm going to bake this off at 375 for about 20 minutes, and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, guys, now I'm going to make a roux, and I'm going to make a shrimp etouffee to serve as like a gravy over the Raging Cajun cornbread. Now, every time I go to make a roux, I hear this in my head. I remember hearing Paula Dean say something like, Okay, y'all, when you get ready to make a roux, you want to cook it till it gets to the color of a penny. And I hear that in my head over and over every time I'm making a roux. But it's pretty simple. I have a half a stick of butter in here. And I'm adding in a half a cup of flour. Aren't these so cute? Of course, I'm going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm just going to work this until I get a good roux going I have this up on high. Once the roux gets to the consistency that I want it to be and a good color, I'm going to add in mushrooms, onion, celery, and some more bell pepper. And then I'm going to get that all cooking and then I'm going to add in clam juice and an 8 ounce tub of Kraft Philadelphia cream cheese, chive and onion. So I'll be back to show you the roux in just a minute. Now there we go. we got a pretty good color going on here. I'm liking it. All right, time to add in the celery, peppers, and onions. Okay, so we have the peppers, the onions, the celery, and the mushroom. And it was about a cup of everything, a cup of celery, a cup of onions, with a half a cup of peppers, and about a half a cup of mushrooms. So we're just going to work this in until they start to get a little tender. And then I'm going to add in the clam juice. And then... Hopefully, the cornbread will be about done, and we can serve this up. 
Right at the end, I'll drop the shrimp in because they only take just a minute to cook. We don't want them to be overcooked. Okay, looking good. Okay, this is looking so good. I'm going to go ahead and add in our clam juice. I'm going to add in 16 ounces. And we're going to work that around a little bit. Get it up to good high temperature. And now I'm going to add in the Kraft Philadelphia cream cheese with chive and onion. I'm going to use a whole 8 ounce tub. You can see the mushrooms, the peppers, the celery, the onion. And this is going to thicken up. And I'm just about ready to pour, pull the cornbread out of the oven. So I'll be back to show you the finished product. Doesn't that look good? And in just a minute, I'll dump in the shrimp. Mmm. Boy, I can't wait to eat this. Hey, it's time to add a little heat to this. I have a tablespoon of hot sauce. And I'm also adding in two teaspoons of cayenne pepper. Got to have it a little bit hot. We want a little bit of heat. Actually, I like it very hot, but if you don't, you know, put a little bit less in. That's fine. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, the etouffee gravy is just perfect. So I'm going to add in, I have a pound of shrimp that I'm going to add in. And we're just going to cook this for a couple minutes. It won't take the shrimp long at all. You just want to make sure it's no longer opaque. Oh, it smells so good. Now serving this over the raging Cajun cornbread, that's a meal, guys. That's a meal. Okay, it's about done. I'm going to go ahead and plate it up and I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute. Wow. That just looks amazing. So there you go. There's an entree for you. My Raging Cajun Cornbread topped with shrimp etouffee. I'm very excited about how this turned out, and I can't wait to dive into it. Cornbread, shrimp. Mmm. Oh, the shrimp are done just right. Oh, and you can taste the, the hot sauce, the Cajun seasoning. And it's so creamy and yummy because of the cream cheese. I hope you guys like it. Try it. Mmm, mmm.